This is a Mennonite community in southern Mexico, toiling the land in the name of their Christian faith. Their agricultural prowess was once welcomed here, but now both ecologists and the Mexican government see Mennonites' ranches as an environmental disaster for rapidly raising the Maya forest to plant their crops. Smaller only than the Amazon, the Maya forest is one of the continent's biggest carbon sinks and home to endangered jaguars. According to non-profit Global Forest Watch, it's shrinking by an area the size of Dallas every year. Mennonites first arrived here from Canada in the early 1900s in search of land and isolation. Tracing their roots to 16th century Germany, they still speak Plautdeutsch, a blend of Low German, Prussian dialects and Dutch. The Mennonites say they live by traditional pacifist values and that expanding farmland to provide a simple life for their families is the will of God. But despite shunning electricity and other modern amenities, their farming has evolved to include bulldozers, chainsaws, tractors and harvesters. The government is now pressuring the Mennonites to shift to more sustainable practices. According to research, Mennonites in Campeche embraced the use of genetically modified soy in the 2000s and glyphosate weed killer Roundup, designed to work alongside GMO crops. Local farmers like Francisco Colo Camal worry about the repercussions for the surrounding environment. No nos gusta que vengan otras personas de otras naciones, de otros pueblos, que tumben este, montes, selvas, y las selvas son los que nos ayudan a, a, a vivir, nos da aire fresco al campo, aire natural que respiramos. Claro, no nos gusta porque ellos traen maquinaria y fumigan sus terrenos y contaminan la tierra y echan fertilizantes, sus químicas a la tierra. One 2017 study found that property owned by Mennonites in Campeche had rates of deforestation four times higher than non-Mennonite properties. Carlos Tucuch is the head of the National Forestry Commission in Campeche. Campeche ocupa el deshonroso primer lugar en deforestación en el país. Y eso es muy preocupante y muy, muy grave. Y todo eso se acentúa precisamente con la llegada de, de los hermanos menonitas que vienen buscando nuevas áreas de cultivo, eh, abren nuevos espacios a la agricultura y eso ha, ha detonado que, que seamos ya, ya prácticamente el primer estado en deforestación. Despite a deal between the Mexican government and some Mennonite communities, ongoing land clearance was visible in two villages visited by Reuters in February and May. A lawyer representing some Mennonite communities said they felt attacked and scapegoated by the government's efforts. Groups including palm oil farmers and cattle ranchers also engage in widespread land clearance although data on how much each group is driving deforestation versus others is not readily available. Mennonite leaders are seeking a proposal from the government that won't cut their production dramatically. Higher yields means more income to support large families, which can commonly hold 10 children. The fear is organic methods will not be successful. Still, some have faith. One Mennonite leader said, if the government shuts us down, God will open for us. <laughs>